Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly tarot reading for September 10th to September 16th 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that uh, in case you're interested in a private reading, uh, everything that you need to know about it is uh, my website really and it is um, listed down below in the description of this video as well as uh, now is the uh, summer end uh, there is a summer end sale which saves you 10 um, which saves you 22 dollars or what is 10 minutes of worth as it adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute uh, service so uh, we go to the tarot reading first after that there will be a Lenormand one and uh, this is going to be a four position tarot spread now the first position regards to the topic for your week Leo's then is um, the second position that is the core of the situation followed by third position resembles the um, challenges that you have to overcome and the last one is about the guidance that um, it is advisable you know to follow that card points how is the best way the best course of actions regarding the topic of the week so let's see what you got now the topic of the week this is going to be the six of um, swords and it does look like that this is going to be a transitional week so you are going to sit on the threshold of a certain transition and some of you may be quite afraid of uh, making the next step forward as this threshold usually kind of symbolizes uh, or kind of uh, separates the known to the, uh, from the unknown so in other words most of you have to step outside of their comfort zone now six of swords is a very peculiar card because uh, in some cases as well it may mean that you have to reach a resolution um, that kind of serves for a two parties and you are the third one so kind of like you may be the peacemaker when it comes to um, actual you know conversations negotiations etc etc six of swords is is a card as well of uh, navigating your personal ship in a sense of that this time around you know you can make some brave actions to uh, improve your personal circumstances and that is as well um, that again involves you stepping outside of the comfort zone or crossing that threshold so you can force that transition into your life either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship but that should happen uh, more through um, mental work and under mental work i mean conversations you know and negotiations not by acting and taking the, the things into your own hands you know and uh, provoking actions here but rather uh, you need to be able to convince the other you know the others into your righteousness or the best um, <clears throat> the better way said is to convince others that no one wins if uh, the parties are constantly arguing among one another to convince others that you know if they unite and follow the uh, the mutual goal here combined uh, there will be you know something in it for every single one or everybody will benefit if the um, forces are united rather than divided so it's very important week here uh, for you Leos to kind of win followers and as well to um, how can I place it as, as well to diminish the chances that further into the future you will, you will be caused a an obstacles from people which you couldn't be able to convince you know in the righteousness of your words of your actions and as well uh, in the in, in the righteousness of your uh, right to claim what is yours as well but all in all or overall this week will be about transition and that transition is meant for you to uh, improve your personal circumstances and but however uh, it will require some bravery as again it will involve 
steps which are throwing you outside of your comfort zone. Uh, why this is happening here, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so that is the opportunity. Wheel of Fortune sometimes stands for uh, once in a lifetime opportunity, all right? But it's that card is about uh, opening, a, a huge opening. Now is the time and you have to act on it. And probably that's why you will kind of feel scared acting upon it because these couple of cards they um, they point toward a, a quite of a speed that the events are happening and probably you will not have the time to plan it you will not have the time to prepare yourself for what comes next after you kind of cross that threshold but threshold but uh, the Wheel of Fortune also has more practical meaning here that you will be very very busy and uh, under business I mean business into um, trying to manage some new uh, undertakings which are coming into your way either career wise or either relationship wise you know that could be uh, these additional responsibilities that you need to deal with on top of your already current ongoing <clears throat> projects that you are dealing with and of some of uh, out of the out uh, of some of those um, additional responsibilities or additional tasks which are coming in your way um, is where the threshold needs to be um, crossed so out of one of those additional responsibility the uh, opportunity will arise itself for you to improve your personal circumstances so do not neglect anything that comes and present itself at itself as a distraction at the start or as a chore but try it out you know and see how well it works for you uh, the challenges that you have to overcome here this is going to be the nine, the ten of cups and pretty much covered well <clears throat> circumstantially covered that card it speaks that not everything that you will kind of face that week is going to be quite pleasant or uh, you will be happy to work upon either regarding career or either regarding relationship because the Ten of Cups as we know sits for emotional satisfaction being pleased with what you got being pleased with what you do etc etc you know and also uh, it stands sometimes for unaffected by problems so you will be difficult uh, you will find it difficult or challenging should I say to stay unaffected by certain problems as well you will find it challenging to be happy of what you are doing and that and this is kind of understandable because you will be very busy and you can't neglect really anything that it is thrown in your way here from these couple of cards so um, you need to attend as well into the chores and into the distractions because you don't know from which one um, that opportunity you are awaiting here will pop up and uh, of course as we said about fear you may find yourself afraid that you are going to miss you know a golden opportunity here if you kind of uh, devote yourself into just one thing you know and don't kind of um, ob not observe but research the other possibilities which are coming uh, and which are happening into your environment and the best possible course of action or how you can deal here with uh, with the fear you know or uh, let's say with the the poignancy that you cannot experience joy from what you are doing or not from everything that you are doing or the better term here or the better expression is that there will be unpleasant undertakings that you have to kind of attend to into in for the duration of that week well uh, this card only points that you you can find solace in the um, in the achievement itself in a sense of that these uh, additional undertakings will be able to be or they will be successfully managed from your behalf and it is where you can find your solace here uh, Leo and you can um, 
realize that your time haven't been lost especially when that golden opportunity arises itself to you from those exterior exterior new tasks which uh, you and uh, or enterprises which you are uh, which you will have to attend to for the duration of this week as the six of cups uh, reflects to the satisfaction of the job well done in your case and this is what and this is why you have to do these things you know for the satisfaction itself not of not of the process of doing a certain thing uh, but and for the end result itself or the result job well done and that should bring you a satisfaction here or at least you know this is what can keep your you uh, this is what can keep you moti uh, motivated and can keep you uh, in track with the flow of events because the uh, wheel of fortune speaks for a, a quite fast and dynamic flow of events and you don't want to miss any of it then uh, let's see what the Lenormand cards has to say for you they they will display a event that you either look forward to or try to avoid should you can All right, that's good. So the first one is the tree, which uh, could speak for long lasting or it could regard health. Then we do have the child, which stands for innocence, a child, you know, or uh, it stands for as well, new beginning. And then we have the ship, which stands for a risk, venture, or traveling so that could be a, a sign of reallocation that you may make a reallocation and kind of fits here with the six of swords because the key word of that is traveling you know and here we could see uh, just a, a variation of the interpretation that now it is presented for you the chance to travel and reallocate but the whole process of the reallocation will not be very pleasant however the end result of it you know, because many things has to be done, you know, many things has to be sorted out in that reallocation. But the end result, what we spoke, it will be satisfiable for you. And this is what needs to give you motivation. As well, these cards could speak for um, conceiving, because that regards to health as well. And we do have a child here. Conceiving, and of course, as we do have the, uh, the ship that will be um unpredicted or kind of like not unwanted you know but unplanned one so be careful about that i mean if you don't get your if you don't want to get yourself pregnant and you will have sex this week you know make sure to wrap it up etc etc and um basically that's that it could also speak for improvement into one's health through uh, some unstandard let's say diets you know treatments etc etc but uh, in general it speaks for improvement here as we do have and that improvement will be long lasting as we do have these couple of cards which are supported additionally from um from the tarot cards which speaks again these couple golden opportunity to improve one's circumstances through throwing yourself outside of your or outside of the comfort zone which again the ship is about venture and taking a risk all right so yeah you 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 have to be open-minded this week leo to take advantage of that dynamic coming in your way so that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading presented to you from me, Rad, and I hope that you liked it and you can make sense of it because this is a, a general reading. It is not your personal reading. And uh, as I can tell you, you know, the meaning of the cards, their combinations, etc., etc., it is up to you to make sense of it, okay? So uh, that being said, again, in case you are interested in a private reading with me, everything that you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. 
See you next time. Bye.